Hey, how are we doing guys? Gray here and today we've got our week 5 battle of the UBL. We're going up against Incog and his Boston Syndicals. Really entertaining content creator, very entertaining guy. Um, also just a very entertaining like uh, player as well. He brings some very creative sets. Uh, last time we faced off was in the UPA. And uh, in fact, it's the only time we faced off and we did pick up the win. But it was a close four game despite him bringing entirely special sets, including a Mel Metal, which was quite frankly terrifying to face but he has really been popping off as well recently ucl uh, sorry ycl he did really well um, make sure to go check out that run because yeah it's it's a fantastic uh season to watch make sure to go check him out his link will be down in the description below as well as all your coaches for the ubl this season make sure to leave a like subscribe if you're enjoying the content and let's click a let's get into this uh we are bringing some wacky sets ourselves i guess uh he does bring the swamper that's a little bit annoying he does bring the lycan rock uh, we see Buzzwell, we don't see Gengar, holy shit. <laughs> I was so sure Gengar was coming to this game. Um, that's actually fine by me though, I don't mind that at all. Um, it, this looks like a pretty free uh, Blaze can lead. There's really not a great deal on this team. In fact, nothing outspeeds it is the fastest Mon in this game outside of a Choice Scarf, Lycan Rock, so... Um, one quick thing to mention, our Togekiss set is Hustle, and the chances of him missing are quite high. Don't see Sylveon, so the entire set is a little bit negated, but you know, it is what it is. Um, it does still have the Focus Punch for three of those mons actually, and Fire Blast for two, so actually, you know what, Togekiss is pretty decent outside of the fact it can't hit the Swampert particularly, which might be a bit of an issue. But good luck, have fun to Incog. Let's, uh, let's see what wild shit he's bought. Um, Part 31. Honestly, could be the better lead, but um, I'm going to U-turn and just go hard into my Curum. No reason to really do any other play. We'll see whether or not he's Rocky Helmet here, and he probably sets up the rocks. We'll see whether he's lefties as well. That looks probably like it's Fizz Death. He is Rocky Helmet, good to know. Um, Curum hits super hard here. If you go Snorlax, I can go. I can go Togekiss. Uh, just trying to think what other plays there would be. I think just going Curum in and clicking a button is probably absolutely fine. Um, Snorlax, if he goes for like a superpower here or something, that is a wild play. But I would not put it past him. Go for Flip Tub. That's fine. We're probably going to see Snorlax here. Maybe Boswell. If Boswell's Scarf, then we definitely see Boswell here. Now, uh, Boswell's switching is kind of lacking. It's kind of lacking, I'm not going to lie. Just out of interest, how much is Curum doing to Snorlax? Draco does a good amount. It does... Like, we have to hit three times to have a chance to knock it out, but even then that's kind of unlikely. If he is just like max special attack. Uh, Tyranitar comes in. Kind of wishing that I had... Kind of wishing I had the Focus Blast here. Um, that's three times of hitting Draco. Uh, we aren't really doing a great deal to us for death one. Um, at the same time, we do not have a switch in really at all. I mean, what's Kyurem... Did I say what's Kyurem doing for me? Honestly, not the greatest deal in this game. Farmy just wants to click Draco anyway. Could click Draco and just get my damage. I could Earth Power and potentially free a KO. What's my alternative plays here? Um, honestly not a whole lot, but I can always bring in Crook afterwards, and I think Crook would probably scare him out. So, yeah, I'm just going to go for the Draco here. We are going to connect, so this should do about half if he's for death. If he's AV, it would be less, but that's certainly not for death. Uh, Stone Age would definitely hurt. Okay, he goes for Toxic, that's fine. Who see Leftovers? I get buffed by Sandstorm. We do see leftovers, so I don't think even like 
Nah, that's almost definitely not. At minus two. Even at minus two, there's not a lot. It's still in the same situation, though. I think we've kind of got to click it. So. Uh, it shows a toxic. I think, yeah, Crook coming in afterwards and clicking bulk up. Would be pretty big. I don't like the fact that it's Swampert. I mean, Swampert could also come in. I guess. It's going to leave Tyranitar low, and I don't think it necessarily will care too much. Uh, T-Wave. Man's bringing it all of the status. Um, I'm just going to click Draco one more time. It should knock it out from here. Yeah. It should knock it out. Possibly. It looks a little bit questionable, but I think it does. Protect. Man, really bring in all the status and then protect. I mean, it's fair. I, I can't argue against it. We are very, very quickly being chipped down. I honestly don't think that we even kill another Draco here, so... Kyurem's still got some value. I can switch out. 62 is enough that it can switch back in. Um, I mean, I, I don't know what the last move is going to be. That's the thing, I just I don't know what the last move is. Um, I guess Starmie is somewhat more expendable at this point. If it's Crunch as the last move, then... Yikes. He's going to withdraw. We see Cross, that is the Cool Knight. Again, this is kind of fine. I don't mind this too much. Stami to a Corv. We'll just get Corv Knight up. Uh, Hydro Pump doesn't do a great deal. I could flip turn. I think flip turn is kind of fine. You could also just U turn on me. Um, if I expect the U turn, I could go out into Togekiss. You may also not want to take like a Specs Thunderbolt, so you could switch. Especially because he has a Snorlax in the back. But I don't think he fears too much from me. Like, if I'm Specs T-Bolt, I'd probably 2 it KO. He's going to draw. Expecting the Snorlax. Actually, it's Swampert. Okay. I don't mind taking this little bit of chip. Because I do kind of get to fire off another Draco if I wanted to. Good fire off another Draco. I think that's probably going to be my best play. This part might be a little annoying to take out. Could go for Ice Beam. Like, he's still got the fucking Snorlax in the back, and that's why I don't want to click anything other than Draco here, so. If he sacks the Pert, that is actually ideal for me. I'm just trying to think what I can get my Crook in on. Probably the Corviknight. E40, that's probably the. Yeah, that's a Snorlax. This is still going to do some damage. That does absolutely ridiculous damage. <laughs> what is that, like Fizz Death? Holy shit. Yeah, we're going to go down to Poison on the next turn. But I'm just going to Draco something else. If he brings in Corviknight, then I bring in my Crook. And honestly, at that point, I can kind of start clicking buttons with Crook. I think I'm fine with that. If he gives me lax, he gives me lax. Like, I've got so much chip on a lot of his mons here. That's going to be Corviknight, isn't it? Yeah. Which is, like, I think a best case scenario ready for me. Oh, 
We're going to see how much this does as uh, Jack starts playing Legends Arcus at the Dom Fanatic. Um, can I just very quickly, uh, it is leftovers, so that's good to know. At minus two. Uh, Draco did not do that much there. This looks like it's for death. We are going to faint. If it's for death, it could be bulk up. If it's for death, it could be bulk up. I kind of want to go crook. If I get to plus one, plus one. I mean, the thing is with Crook that he just, he stays in. I go Crook. I think this is worth at least trying. So if we get to plus one, body press is not doing all that much. U-turn isn't doing a great deal either. Goes for roost. So he gives me plus two. I'm gonna bulk up again. As he is just gonna halve withdraw. Goes into part. If it is a Fizz Death Perk. Uh, Fizz Death Perk wouldn't... Wouldn't die from this. U-Turn did about 15% from Blaziken, just... Yeah, so it's probably about Fizz Death. I still think I click EQ. Respectable damage. It's gonna roll. That's fine. That's absolutely fine because this thing is now weakened. We get Tokus in. Which I believe. I should be able to sub. Actually, can this just win? I'm gonna sub. I know he's shown roll. But I should be able to go with a focus punch afterwards as long as I hit. He does still have Tyranitar and he does have Snorlax in the back. So maybe he wants to keep this Rocky Helmet. Is what I'm thinking. Because if he's going to sack something off here, he probably sacks off one of those other two. I could very well be wrong and he just clicks Raw. But he is going to withdraw, so we get a free sub. And he goes into Cross. Which I believe is for death. So if it is for death call. Uh, so max for death will still be two at KO'd by Fire Blast. Depending on his set, he may not even be able to touch me. So do connect with the Fire Blast, and that's just going to kill. Is that a crit? It was a crit. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. That kind of sucks. I don't know what his set was. If he had Iron Head, then he broke my sub at least, but... Um, he certainly got two KO'd. No matter what, he got two KO'd. Goes into this. I'm just. It is time. We we click the button. We got the button. We click the button. I probably don't even need to do this. I could have shot smart strike probably. No. Wait. It's it's trouble. I think we should probably still kill through this. I thought I missed. I was about to be very sad. Shout out to focus punch Togekiss. It picks up the kill. You know what? The tech work, the tech works. The, yep, I'm happy. I'm. I can lose this game now. I don't care. Fucking hustle, Toga Kiss, man. Fucking ho hustle, Toga Kiss. Goes into this. I can just smart strike this. I don't even care about accuracy. 
I do not care about accuracy. We just smart strike, which was here for the Sylveon, but you know, it doubles up, it, it works out in this situation. It's a move that cannot miss, doesn't check accuracy. Gonna pick up the kill. Togekiss has got... <laughs> Togekiss has got three. And who says that Hustle Togekiss is bad? Me, when I probably miss a move in a second, but... Smart Strike, I think, probably knocks out Swampert as well from here. Uh, Smart Strike probably doesn't. It probably doesn't. I would have to Focus Punch to kill it. He goes into the Pert. Like, we've seen his Fizz Death, so I'm probably just going to go for the Fire Blast. I think Fire Blast has the better chance, or I could just try and stun on them and go for the Focus Punch again. Uh, I'm going to fi click Fire Blast, and if I miss, honestly, it's deserved for not clicking Focus Punch. But that does enough. Four kills for Togu, yes. And then it's just the Boswell and Lycanroc. Does Lycanroc die to Smart Strike out of interest? It doesn't. I would have to go for Focus Punch against it. I could also Smart Strike for guaranteed damage. But that's a bit of a coward's way out. Would I regret it? Almost definitely I would regret it. But Tokius has put in some work, you could say. I mean, Curum put in most work, honestly, just chipping everything down, because there's no way Tokius will be able to put in this much work without it. Colorblind. That's the Boswell. Unless this is Spadef AV, Fire Blast will be able to... We'll be able to knock this out. And then it would just be the Lycan Rock left, and honestly, I would just go for. Okay, so he's he's scarfed on this. So as long as we hit, then uh, yeah, as long as we hit, we're fine. But we still got to hit, and we do. So this should knock this out as well. Yep, just the Lycan Rock left. And I'm just going to Smart Strike. Like, it can knock me out. Do I want to preserve Differential? Not really. That's a shitty thing to do. I'm just going to click Smart Strike. I'm not going to click Focus Punch because if I miss, it doesn't put me in a great spot. If it goes for Swords Dance, then at least like I put it in range. Then, oh, Shadow Sneak, I believe. Yeah, Smart Strike into Shadow Sneak will be able to knock this out. And I swear if he misses a Stone Edge, if he has Stone Edge, I'm going to be mad. I'll be mad for him. Because he does not deserve to miss. There we go. Good stuff. Togekiss, you put in far more work than you really should have. And now I'm just going to go to AG and clean this game up. Or I could just go... Yeah. You're also fine. If he's scarfed, then he got me. What can I say? Stone Edge would knock me out. But I guess we get to see if he's scarfed. Just going to click Close Combat. Oh, he is scarfed. You know what? Fair play. Fair play. Um, so yeah, now, now I just go. AG was the safer play. I should have just gone AG. That would have reserved Differential. Um, but you know. Shit happens. Gonna pick up a 3-0 win, I believe this will be. Because, like, there's no way close combat from this doesn't just knock out. Wait. What item do I have on my Blaziken? How is I getting out sped? Am I missing something here? Am I missing something? 
I... Yeah? I genuinely could not be much more confused as to how a non-scarfed Lycanroc... Did he knock me off at some point? Did I forget that he knocked me off? I'm... Was I scarf? Let me just quickly... I, I'm... I'm unsure as to what the fuck just happened. <laughs> Firstly, I'm unsure what the fuck just happened because Tokyo's picked up five kills with fucking hustle. But... Um, also, what happened to my Blaziken's speed? <laughs> if he was not scarfed, what, did I not have an item? I am choice scarf. Did it just misgen it? I've got 284 speed at level 100. Which is correct. I I must be missing something, but I couldn't tell you what that something is. Genuinely couldn't tell you what something was. Stone Age was a roll, I think, to knock me out, depending on what ability it was. I don't know. I don't have any questions, any answers. Did I get knocked off and just not be aware of it? I don't know. I'm going to wrap up the video before I lose my mind anymore. Um, shout out to Hustle Togekiss. Um, make sure to go check out Incog as well. Um, I'm sure his side was probably very entertaining with this. Um, I, I'm i sorry for doing you so dirty and I'm sorry for also creating your Corvenite because that was potentially very big. Um, but yeah, GG's my opponent. If you did enjoy the battle, I mean, you got to leave a like for sub focus punch Togekiss. Um, if you don't, I will know. And uh, subscribe so you don't miss out on the rest of the UBL season. We do move to two and three. Um, unfortunately, that one differential point did kind of suck a little bit because our differential is kind of ass at the moment. But um, we do get back to winning ways, which is the main thing. But before I ramble on too much, have a great day, guys.